Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. In today's session, we are going to cover setup of Grafana with Nginx and reverse proxy and we will secure Grafana on Nginx by using Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. So first we will learn about what is Grafana. Then we will understand about the Nginx web server. Then we will learn why nginx is used over any another web server software then we will install nginx on ubuntu 22.04 lts which include steps and then we will install grafana on nginx server and we will secure our domain on nginx with let's encrypt certificate followed by the conclude so let's start so what is Grafana? So Grafana is an open source tool for performing data analytics, retrieving metrics that make sense of large amount of data and monitoring our apps using nice configuration dashboard. Grafana integrates with wide range of data source including Graphite, from Thesis, InfluxDB, Elasticsearch, MySQL, PostgreSQL, and others. So when connected to supported data sources, it provides web-based charts, charts, graphs, and alerts. Now we will learn about Nginx web server. So Nginx is a high-performance open source web server and a reverse proxy server. So it excels in serving static content, load balancing, and handling concurrent connection efficiently. Nginx is often used as a front-end proxy server to route requests to backend server like Node.js or PHP, making it critical component for optimizing web application performance and security. So what is forward proxy and reverse proxy? So forward proxy is also referred to as a proxy server or simply proxy. So it is a server that sits in front of one or more client computers and serves as a conduct between the clients and the internet. So the forward proxy receives the request from sending it on from the client machine to the internet resource. On behalf of the client machine, the forward proxy sends the request to the internet and returns the response. Now what is reverse proxy? So a server that sits in front of one or more web servers and serves as a go between web server and the internet is known as reverse proxy. So the reverse proxy receives the request before sending it on the internet resource for the client. So after sending to the request to one of the web server, the reverse proxy receives the response from that server. So the response is sent then back to the client by the reverse proxy. Now, why might someone choose to use nginx over another web server software so nginx the main reasons are nginx is known for its performance and efficiency so it can handle a large number of concurrent connection and has a small memory footprint which makes it good choice for high traffic website nginx is also highly scalable it can be easily configured to handle a large amount of traffic nginx is also versatile it can be used as reverse proxy load balancer and HTTP cache, which makes it good choice for a wide range of applications. Nginx is also easy to configure and maintain. So these are the reasons why we have chosen Nginx website. Now we will install the Nginx on our Ubuntu server. So I have I am currently using the Ubuntu version 22.04 LTS. And I have connected that server by using Mobax term tool. So let's follow this step and install Nginx. So as you can see, this is my Mobax term tool and I have connected to my server. So the first command you should always type is to update your system. So just type sudo apt update so as you can see it is updating the system all the packages will be updated now we will clear this 
and we will simply install nginx so just type sudo apt install nginx hyphen y so hyphen y will give permission to download the nginx otherwise you need to enter y manually now the next step will be we will clear this screen now we will check our nginx web server status so to check nginx web server status simply type sudo service nginx status so as you can see it is actively run now we will see the default page of nginx server on the web browser so here you can see my instance details you need to simply edit the inbound rules as nginx default page is only on port 80 so you need to enable that port so just edit the inbound rules of the instance select your http as you can see http default port is 80 and select anywhere so it is accessible by anywhere now just copy a ip address and paste in the ui so here you can see we have successfully installed nginx and the default page has been loaded successfully now moving on forward we will create our own website on nginx then we will set up a server block so in nginx we will set up a virtual host virtual host is the same meaning for a server block then we will add a dns record on godaddy so to add dns record i am using godaddy and then we will activate the virtual host and see the test results so first we will create our website so just enter into the where directory ww where all the html files are stored so if you list out here you can see html so just create a directory first we will remove the default html as it is a directory use hyphen r now we will create a directory so to create a directory simply type sudo mkdr means make directory and the name of our direct which is tutorial dot devops hint dot info so the devops hint dot info is my domain name which i will show you later so as you have created just press enter now list out as you can see the tutorial dot devops dot info directory has been created now just enter into that directory and just type just open an editor you can also use sudo nano index.html and also this command sudo vi index.html which will open an editor so here you need to paste your html code so i have copied a simple html code here you can see it will print a header which is hello nginx and a paragraph with we have just configured our nginx web server on ubuntu server so to save this just enter escape colon and public now the next step will be 
to set up a server block, virtual host on Nginx server. So to set up, we need to enter into the etc where all the configuration are stored and here you can see the sites available so here you need to enter your configuration so if you list out here you can see the default remove the default by simply typing sudo remove rm default so after this just type sudo nano and here you can see our directory name is tutorial.devopsint and our website name will be also the same so we will here you can see it will open the editor and you need to mention all the configuration here so our file is saved as tutorial.devopsint.info in site 7 now here you need to so here you can find that it will listen on the port 80 so our website will listen on port 80 with the following server name so this will start the server block which contains the configuration for a specific server so listen 80 which specify that the server should listen on port 80 for incoming http request and it will listen to port 80 similar to the previous line for ipv6 including that the server should also listen on port 80 on ipv6 and the server name as you have seen it will set the server name to tutorial.devopsin.info here you can see and it will define the root directory where our server server should look for files to serve in this case here you can see it is stored in where www directory and the index index.html is specified that by default the server should look for an index.html file in the specified root directory and serve it for and the location it will show how the server should handle the request. In this case, it uses try file directory to attempt the server to requested file and if not found, it will return an 404 error. So now we will save this. So to save, just enter control plus for the sake, shift plus Y and enter. So our configuration has been saved. Here you can list out and again, you, if you need to check, you can do the sudo name. Now we will, our next step will be enable the file by creating a link from it to the site's enable directory. So which Nginx read from during startup. So to simply do, you need to specify the sudo ln comma. So here you can see the sudo ln which will get a sim link with sites available and sites enabled. So press enter. Now we will check our configuration is successful or not. So to check the Nginx configuration, simply type sudo Nginx hyphen t. It will show that your configuration is correct. Otherwise, it will show that configuration is failed. So here it is showing it is failed. So now we will check this. So here it is specifying that sites enabled has default. So we have not removed the default file from the sites and enabled. So we will remove. So simply enter into etc directory nginx and sites enable so after entering list out so here you can find the default so just remove it now we will check the configuration so here you can see your configuration that is successful
now we will add a dns record on godaddy so simply this is the site of godaddy where i have login and here you can see the domain name it's a devopsin.info so here you need to add a dns record so here in all products and services you can see the domains and here you need to simply click on dns then you simply need to add a record so select a then specify the name which is tutorial and the ip address so here you can copy the ip address and paste it here in the value section then the detail which is up to you so i have set it one day and save the record so here you can see your dns record has been updated successfully now we will check this so simply type your domain name but before that you need to restart your nginx service so just type sudo service nginx restart so just copy your domain name and paste in the url so here you can see the html code have been successfully loaded with hello nginx we have just configured our nginx server on ubuntu server so our next step will be to install Grafana on Nginx server. So now we will see the steps for installing Grafana on Nginx server. So the steps simply include we should install Grafana on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS as we are currently using this version. Then we will set up the reverse proxy and then we will see how we can access the Grafana login page. So simply so here you can see the code. So we are focusing on deploying Grafana on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS version. So there are basically two approaches for installing direct download and for from the official website or utilizing from the apt repository so now we are currently using the apt repository so you need to add the grafana repository to our api sources so here you can find the command and if you press enter again press enter it will install the required package now we'll update our system as we need to refresh our apt cache to update our packaging so simply type to update simply type sudo apt update command so after our update is completed we can simply install grafana sudo apt install grafana hyphen y so it will give the permission to download grafana so here you can see the progress is 33 percent now now it has been completed so now once Grafana is installed, we will use system CTR to start the Grafana server. So just type sudo system CTR start Grafana server. 
now we will check the status so to check the status simply in place of start you need to type status and press enter so here you can see it is actively running now once the installation of rafana is complete now we will set up the reverse prop so once now we will open the nginx configuration file where we have created and the server block so you can use any text editor for this as we have used nano for this so you need to enter into the configuration file where it is stored in etc engineering sites available tutorial.devopsin.info which we have seen before so here you need to simply simply copy the required configuration So here we have fetched the configuration where the map HTTP upgrade will define a mapping of the HTTP upgrade variable to the connection upgrade variable. So it is used to handle the web socket connection. So if the HTTP header upgrade is present, it will set connection upgrade to upgrade. Otherwise, it will set to close. And here you can see the server. It will start the block from the curly bracket open curly bracket then it will listen to port 80 as we have seen already about the server name and root so in the location it will configure that how we can the server should handle the request for the root path so it proxies to the backend server running on the http or local host with colon 3000 port as grafana run on 3000 port with some header and the location API live will configure how the server should handle request for the API live path. So it is designed to handle web socket connection, setting appropriate headers for upgrading the connection. So it will request to the path also proxy to the backend server on HTTP local host, the port number 3000. Now we will save this and Test the new settings. Control plus X, Shift plus Y, Enter. Now we will again check our engine's configuration is correct or not. So simply type sudo nginx hyphen t. So if in case here it is spelled, then you need to check your configuration. And if it is successful, then well and good. So we can move forward. Now, after setting up the reverse proxy, now we will reload our Nginx. So simply type sudo system ctl reload Nginx. sudo systemctl reload nginx so it has been reloaded successfully now we will access the grafana page to our domain name on our web browser so if you simply refresh this here you can find the grafana page and here you can see that the connection is not secure and after entering your details here, so just type admin and in password also admin, then click on login, skip. Then you can find the default page, the home page of the Grafana. Just click on skip. So here you can find the dashboard alerting Grafana setting. So now as this connection is not secure, 
also be with security. So our next step will be to secure the domain on Nginx with Let's Encrypt certificate. So the steps include for securing domain on Nginx. First, we will install a cert bot on Ubuntu to confirm the Nginx configuration allow the HTTPS to the firewall. Then we will obtain an SSS certificate. We will verify the cert bot auto renewal and then we will update the security endpoint rule. Then we will check our domain certificate on a browser. So first we will install the cert bot on our Ubuntu. So simply we will type sudo apt install cert bot python3 cert bot hyphen nginx so this uh, let's encrypt certificate authority will provide an easy way to obtain and install tls and ssl certificate thereby enabling encrypted https on web server so it will simplify the process by providing a software client third bot that will attempt to automate most if not all of the required steps Currently, the entire process of obtaining and installing a service is fully automated on Apache and Nginx. So our first step will to obtain an SSL certificate to install certbot software on a server. So simply type sudo apt install certbot python3 certbot hyphen Nginx. So just type y to proceed further. Then you need to confirm the Nginx configuration. As third bot needs to be able to find the correct server block in our Nginx configuration for it to able to automatically configure SSL. Specifically, it does by looking the server name. So you need to again check the configuration. So, so as configuration, we have no changes. Now we will simply control press the control plus x and check our configuration is valid or not so it is valid now we will move forward and which we will allow the https to the firewall so if you have the firewall enabled as recommended by the prerequisite guide you need to adjust the setting to allow the https traffic so we need to check the firewall status so here you can see the status is inactive. So simply you need to type to sudo efw enable. So it, it will enable the firewall. So just type y. So it has active and enabled. So now we will add some firewall setting. Update the firewall setting. So simply type sudo efw allow nginx Good. so it is updated now we will simply allow the open sh so to do so simply type sudo ufw allow open shh so the rules are added successfully now the last rule we need to add is sudo afw allow port number 443 of the tcp so now we need to check the status so here you can see our firewall setting has been successfully done so now we will obtain an ssl certificate so third part provides a variety of ways to obtain ssl certificate through plug so the Nginx plugin will take care of reconfiguring Nginx and reloading the configuration whenever necessary. So now you need to type the command sudo certbot Nginx hyphen T. So the certbot tool for 
is used for managing the SSL and TLS certificate. So sudo will run the command in administrative privilege. And the hyphen hyphen nginx will specify the third part should use nginx plugin to configure SSL. So this means third part will automatically modify the nginx configuration to enable SSL and handle certificate related settings. And hyphen d will specify a domain name. And the overall purpose of this command is to obtain SSL and TCL certificate for certified domain. So now press enter. So here you need to mention your email address. So I am currently entering my email address. So just enter Y. And again, why? So here you can see an unexpected error occur. So this error has been occurred as too many certificate has been already issue so you don't need to worry so you need to just change the domain name with the required configuration and you can refer to this uh, article so after here you can find the image so if it has been successfully enabled here you can see it will print this message and then it will verify if you need to verify the search bot so you need to simply type the command sudo system ctl status and then you can also renewal the process by simply typing the sudo search for renew driver then you need to simply update the security inbound rules so here you can see the inbound rules simply add a rule select custom tcp 44 And select anywhere. So this will set a do domain name with encrypt certificate on a browser. So here you can find the connection will be secure. So here you can see the symbol of the connection and you can also view the certificate. So as it is not secure now. So it will not give any certificates. So we will conclude for today. So in conclusion, this tutorial empowers you to efficiently deploy and secure Grafana on Ubuntu 22.04 ATS using engine. So for by following this step, you can enhance your monitoring capabilities with Grafana while ensuring a robust and secure environment combining effective data visualization with nginx added layer of protection so here you can find the related articles and the reference so if you like the video please share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to view more content thank you